Good evening, everybody, and welcome back. I'm just tidying up, so. Ah! How is everyone this fine evening? I'm just going through all of the notifications, sorting things out, and we have Tomo. Welcome, good evenings. We've got bits and pieces to finish off tonight. Um. I want to finish off Devastator, uh, Destroyer, uh, good evening Foxy, uh, I want to finish the Squig, I want to do some Blood and some Bone and some bits and pieces on the Squig to get him finished, uh, a bit, oh, the canopy. I need to finish the canopy on the X-Wing ship as well, so they're all, I want to try and get them all done-ish tonight. Um, with with some luck so I ah, didn't do the stream deck that's going to bug me all day uh, so yeah we've got the squig to finish I did a little bit of tidying up I did a practice see what type of bone to use as well um, so we will get I'm going to do the base of that now first so the mud's drying then I'm going to finish the base on him and put all of the grass on it, the green grass and stuff like that, and then the windscreen on that. Good evening, Captain Rex. Yes, we are all good today. It is a good day, <coughs> even though I've got a cough. Um, cough gun. Um, so yeah, I need my mud. Hi there. Uh, where's my big ruler? Hello, Scarlet and Dell. Uh, so we're going to use the peanut butter, but I'm going to be quite brutal putting it on straight into work today. Look at that! How, how impressive is that? So, um. For the people who don't know, that's my earth texture from Vallejo. Uh, I'm just getting a smudge of it across the... Uh, people say it's like peanut butter. It's really strange because when you're putting it on, you, you could almost think it is peanut butter. Get the majority of it down with something like a big spatula. Um, what's that? There we go. Once we've got this down, I'll take the smaller one and then put some peaks and troughs into it. And just spread it out a bit this might actually work just it does so you just like vacuuming it so it's lifts over and this is how I do most of my legion figures so using the same stuff I can basically do sand um, different things like mud by adding which I'll be doing on this this I'm doing this a lot more pronounced than I normally do bits and pieces like this because uh, obviously big squig needs big rough ground to run over um, Go. That looks pretty good. And then I'll clean up. He says he'll clean off the. Uh, let's double check. I've got the hole around the edge. Good evening, Ash. 
how we do this fine evening. around it and get the uh, the majority of, look at that cool um, you do know we're locked down Matt we're not allowed to mix in houses Thank you for the follow. Uh, so, yeah, that's it. That. <laughs> no, unfortunately, Matt, we're uh, we've joined the idiots. So. Um, we have uh, lots of all all good and all clear news today that's just come through so yeah uh, so we're all we're all good here now right what I need to do is which I forgot to do before this so what I normally do is I'll glaze the <laughs> about two days ago Foxy <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where's my bottle can of? There it is. So I need to do a quick coat of. Uh, I need to do a quick, yeah, quick coat of varnish. Uh, I just use tested full coat, and I'll just do it quickly behind me. Hey, Ke. Uh, how are you, Matt? Sorry, I've had a bit of a rough day, Matt. Usual big hugs to you. So, I've just given the whole thing and also the base because it will um, mat the base as well. So the bit base looks quite nice and matte. And then what I'll do is I'll go back in with Yeah Matt. Um Gloss. Gloss, gloss, gloss. Satin varnish, putty, matte varnish, medium. What it's GV gloss varnish, that's the one. Good evening, Shinani Games. Long time no see. <laughs> Doesn't love me anymore. Uh, what I'm going to quickly do is do it while it's drying. So, this is just, um, <coughs> excuse me, gloss varnish by Villejo. Just a quick glaze over the top to make it look shiny. Again, you're trying to make it just look a bit glassy.
<laughs> I know that feeling. I've been flat out for a couple of weeks now. Um, there was a bit of an intervention um, a week or so ago, basically telling me to actually do something fun rather than just sit and paint and work and do my work stuff. So that's done. I'll get that listed tomorrow. Um, so I've taken up uh, driving around in a big tank shooting people. So uh, playing World of Tanks with Dead Stay, uh, Ash as well, and Craig as well. Which brings me to an idea. Is Kinger about? So again, these ideas are all but been born from Kinga and Ash. <laughs> wow. wow! So, my idea is, Ash, um, there was a, a great series that I watched on uh, YouTube a couple of weeks back. And basically it was World War Two tanks in sepia. So all of the World War Two tanks had been um, recolored in sepia. And it absolutely looked amazing. But do you know what I think would look even better? World War Two tanks in Tesseract. Just think of it. It'd be, it's absolutely genius. Uh, uh, tweezers. Imagine a massive World War II um, tiger coming hello there good evening everyone um yeah a tiger in full tesseract coming bounding over the the battlefield towards you in your little poor sherman you're going to be scared silly it'd be amazing so on Yeah, or in a green screen studio, which is what I keep getting at. Um, I'll do a medium. So these are Gamers Grass um, Tiny Tufts. They're moss green. I know someone who has who wants a set of these moss green ones. Um, but they work quite nicely as the right skill for bot wars stuff you're just probably going to use quite a lot of them the way I'm going with this do you know what mate I think it's just there I'm almost certain it's just over there So these are really, for this scale as well, and for putting like moss and stuff like that on on any type of base. Really, these are really cool. I do love the uh, tiny tufts. And hello, bearded beast. I did see you come in. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Care. How much would that have revolutionised tank design? Oh, we can't shoot you because you've just blinded us with your bright green tank. Uh, 
How is Martin this evening? I'm picking out some of the big bits just to fill gaps because there's going to be loads. Um, loads of space on these. So with taking the big bits as well, I don't tend to use the big bits on other stuff. So they're normally the ones that get left behind. I'm normally like looking for the really tiny bits. Martin's pol and he didn't bring us one. Ask Martin if he's remembered James is on tonight. Wouldn't want you missing the uh, prize wall. I think he's on now, possibly. Is he? Last see him. He's on Facebook, you can watch us both. But at 17 minutes, you've probably missed the. Uh, uh, what they're called. All the prize wall numbers. Oops. So these are technically um, self adhesive. And they do really well. I just prefer to put a tiny amount of PVA on it just to make sure that they're secured. Um, and PVA goes matte as well, so it's not too much of a um, too much of a problem for them. At the end of the day, even if I use this whole pad, it's only a, they're only like four quid a sheet. Is it four quid a sheet, Ash? Something silly like that for a, a bajillion bits of uh, grass. I think that is a little bit of how... Yeah, PVA glue, Egan. Uh, it's just white glue. Wood wood glue, some people call it. Um, I think mine's called Everbond. It was. It is just um, pound shop wood glue. Comes in a yellow tub. But I said they do stick perfectly well. It's just I like that added security that he's not going anywhere might be yeah El I don't know what El I think I know what Elmer's is but not 100% certain so what I can do is exactly the same again that I've just done with him so I want the blue uh, doing as glass um, so if I get some kind of box implement can't remember whether I coated these two guys so all I'll quickly do is totally forget where I put the glue uh, not the glue um, 
the te uh, Tesseract spray. Mm. So this, as I said, this is just Tester's dull coat. I think you guys can... Elmer's chisels. Not Elmer Fudd. Bloody hell. Um, I think this is quite easy to get hold of in America compared to what trouble we have getting it. Um, so... You probably can't see it because he's green as well. Technically, this needs to be done well ventilated, outside, away from any kinds of stuff that can go woof. <coughs> it does get on your chest. So, that is... As you can see, it's it looks glossy at the minute, but in five minutes that will dry to perfection. Uh, and then I want to again hit the glass and the visor with um, some. Oh, what's it called? Gloss varnish. So what I need is some ivory or bone white. In fact, we'll go with bone white. <laughs> yeah, fumes good for lock-ins. Mm. Wow. Yeah, the gloss mate. I told you it's one of those days where I can forget my name within uh, 30 seconds of someone telling me it. So I'm going to go over all the teeth, the claws and stuff like that and I'm just using game colour, uh, bone white. I think it's pretty thin. Yeah, it's pretty nice and thin. That's like asking a druggie how many pounds of cocaine they've gone through. That's probably half full. Um, and that's number three. <laughs> I can stop any time I want, says the Tesseract druggie. close up glasses on <laughs> I bought a six pack and I've got I bought a single to see how good it was and then I've bought six a six pack um, which I've got hold on how many have I got left of the six pack I used more no, I've used two and a half pots. <laughs> Have to admit, it is a cracking, versatile, interesting colour to play around with. With it being new as well, it has been so much fun to play around with bits and pieces. I'm going to try some silvers, I'm going to try it over gold, stuff like that as well, just to see what we can get done with it. I'm not expecting any masterpieces, I'm not expecting Mona Lisa levels, but fun stuff? Yeah. Tesseract Yag Panther. I 
I've never been one to conform with normality. Um. <laughs> Beanie sell sells it. We don't. Um, Beanie sells all of the the GW paint lines. Uh, we sell the Vallejo stuff um, and a couple of other bits and pieces. Um, I tend to pick the colours I like to stock, but again, um, Beanies do, I support Beanies with all of the GW stuff. All the paint. The paints have... It's like a toolbox. Paints have different uses. Different uh, different companies, different types, different manufacturers, all that sort of stuff. Um, I do love just testing different paints, see what they do. One, a couple of my streams, and we haven't done one of them for a while. I might do a getting to know Tesseract stream at some point. Yeah, the the worst thing is this Tesseract glow stuff's on the counter, so it's like get your first try here. And you once once you hook, that's it. So, teeth time. I'm going to be able to get the teeth this way. There's also a skull in there, in between his teeth. Uh, I'm going to do the mushroom properly so it needs to be red so getting this on it is going to help the red go on as well it also means I don't have to be that careful on the teeth above it <laughs> you know, one of the main culprits hasn't even turned up tonight. It's disgraceful. There's another skull in between the teeth. You get all of the outside parts and then I'll go up to the inside. Some people would just probably do the... Like the outside of the teeth, because it's technically it's all you can see, really. But, yeah. I'd prefer to get both sides. One, because I know it's there, and two, bet you if I take a four, I'll get a patch where it isn't there. Well, 
trying not to hit the tongue much. I haven't, mate. Um, I d let me finish his teeth, but I do have a, uh, a UV torch under my desk for setting uh, resin. Oh, people are feeding my addiction. Telling me what... <laughs> so I am trying to get into the backs of the teeth without getting my fingers in the mud I'm afraid that's going to have to do for the teeth oh god no that's definitely half a tooth missing totally The teeth are all going to be dirtied up anyway, so they'll change colour slightly. Um, I'll just do his eyes in this while I remember. UV won't come through the uh, cameras, but you should see the effect of it. it's a really good base colour this so putting it on the eye I can then put white or yellow or red and it'll stick really well to it but then I still get the backing of the um, push spots still need the metal to do and a bit more on it the claw And then we can get the UV out. Uh, I will point it down here for now, cause It's doing it on other stuff. It's glowing really well on the other stuff. It's just not showing up on that. You get spots of it. See, that lights up really well. Just, I don't know if my batteries, my batteries might be going flat. Um, let me just put the lights back on. Um, Born White. Game colour Born White. 72 or 3 4. <laughs> yeah, that was a bit worrying, wasn't it? <laughs> Everything else goes dark, but it's sat there going, You're not making me go dark. Not a chance. Um, 
we have uh, probably about eight o'clock we do a gallery set so if you put it in our discard gallery there is a gallery there and we share everything out from there in about half an hour but yeah I'll have a look it'd be cool Sweet. So I'm wanting, I'm thinking of a cream. See, changeling pink. Cool. The, well, I'm not to brag or anything, but most of our painters are ranging from people that have been painting for less than a week to people that have been painting like me for some years. Um, but like we always say, we're always learning new stuff. Uh, I learn stuff on a daily basis, like how bright bloody Tesseract is. Uh, yeah, we've got people here that are going to start painting Tomb Fairies. So this is Changeling Pink. We have discovered peanut butter. So just a quick one direction on the uh, pink pustules to... Again, lift the pink colour off them. Um, and again, on the, the f some of the raised gum bits and the tongue the mouth's gonna get all kinds of gunk put in there anyway so not to worry about that too much and it was that way for that one uh, it's cool let's have Yeah, I've, I've been painting. Cool. I'd be really interested in seeing that. Uh, has Kinga turned up yet? look back to my gallery oh that does look cool under the, yeah with it yeah I think it's because I've got the the studio lights on that's not picking it up orcs snowy will be impressed um, I'm trying to remember where we were up to on this 
Um, there was Cornwolf put some stuff up as well. Voldemort and uh, yeah, so the next one's Ash and his um, Death Guard. Not enough plasmas. Wrong coloured plasma. Plasma should be green. So this the mud's still muddy muddy. Right, I'll let that seal a little bit. I'll tell you what, where seraph and sepia. So the teeth uh, I will do in Mud, not Reichland, Seraphim, not Reichland. I need to sort my colours out. Seraphim, Fugan Orange. Let me put some normal glasses on so I can read. Well, that's why Squiggy's on the table. Seraphim secret. Uh, and Squeegee is a lot of fun. So, you stand there a minute, destroyer. Not devastator. Not devastator. Um, yep. So, I've got my size 5 German Kalinski. It's probably one of the best brushes I've got for uh, putting on wash quite heavily. So what I'm doing is just rubbing it over the teeth and into the gums a little bit. With any luck, it will go into the recess of the gums and look like plaque-ish. Oh, that needs to be red. So if you ever want anything explaining as well, just shout up. Uh, I'm going to call you Cotton. <laughs> um, there's a whole wealth of knowledge in the chat group as well. Even on Discord, I've got a lot of good painters that come by and chat and if you ever need any help and advice. Painting his toenails. Good evening, Carl. Right, what I will do is that's it, I've done the nails, I'll try and get underneath them as well. As carefully as I can. Um, his mouth's becoming quite a, a fetid cesspool of <laughs> Uh, one second, I will. Let me just. If 
finish off the, the puss on that. Right, I am going to tell you what I'm going to do is also the metal work. There's also blood effects to go onto this yet. So, did I? Let's have the toes a little bit. See, I just thought of that. The toes are very, very green for. Let's use the sepia to dirty them up a bit. See, thinking on the fly. So, I just mucky the toes and think feet up a little bit. Um, brown. What's the leather brown like from? Frothing at the mouth, yeah, yeah. Uh, soft tone quick shade. Which ones do I, I do have the full oh, that's the soft tone. There is also um I think light tone would be too light on it. Mild brown's also too light. So your only other one would be the um, soft and dark. Dark's basically black, but it still works with uh, belts and stuff like that. Let's have a look. Um, he's one of my test models. Oh. Uh, if I was making it go for me and puss you, I'd probably use Nurgle's Rot. Right. So, Army Painter, um, Leather Brown. So this is just one of the, it's one of my test figures. So slight, it is slightly thin because obviously where it came from in the pot is right at the top and it had some um, thinners still at the top. I've actually just managed to mix it in with the gloss varnish as well, which is amazing. So you would probably, I know it's a bit of a, Cliche, but two thin coats to get it the brown. So, for a belt, we'll use the sash as a belt. It's a good coverage, it hasn't covered the gold, but I didn't think it would, because the gold's quite a, a strong um, strong colour. I think the second coat would probably get it. So... I 
I would always recommend people let it dry naturally, but because it's just a quickie, he says trying to find the uh, The brown goes on quite nice <laughs> and it dries quite well. I'll do the second coat. Yeah, that's coated now. There you go. So without the even without the um the wash it's coated really nicely. That's straight over black. Oh sorry. You're happy now, Egan. So there you go. It has coated quite nicely in two coats. I say that was over black with silver, so it's not that. It's not the easiest to get to court. Um, try with soft on. <laughs> uh, let's uh, go to uh, that's, that's drying. So this is just soft, uh, standard soft tone. If you think it is too thick uh, when it's come out of there. And you want to dilute it down they do a quick shade medium a mixing medium so you can thin it down with that it's very much like uh, Vallejo uh, sorry GW's Lamia medium it's just the medium that works with their paints so I'm gonna do this side in the brown for you. That is actually quite thick, so I'm going to thin that down. La Ham. Hello, Kinga! Good evening, Dan. How is you? And uh, thank you very much, X Wing Tavern Moors. That's much appreciated. So, yeah, with the shades and stuff like that, um, it should fill the crevices. You can see the, it pooling. I'm good, mate. We've had uh, a good couple of weeks. We had some good fun on the charity do. And so I can't speed that up much because of um, the way washes work but what I'll do is on this side I just think the dark tone might work a little bit better Uh, not all of it, I've been doing some of this as well, Matt, so. Yeah, we did, we did really well. So this is the dark shade, which is the black. So. 
So So on that side, I still doesn't no matter how many times I go for the uh, stream deck, it's not going to be there, is it? <coughs> so you can see how it's pooling in the the little recesses and the folds and stuff like that. The dark does pick it up and go a deep leathery colour, like that. Where the brown gives it more of a it seems to be quite light a little bit too light for the leather let's try something different on that then The dark tone on there, I don't know if you can see it, has gone basically nitty gritty. If you get any new pot, make sure you you shake it up quite a bit. Um, let me just put the dark tone into here for now. Try not to get it on the wet pad. Yeah, I think the tar dark tone just sets it off that little bit more. You can see the two different, the resets to there. So when you've done, when you've got it all and it all dries down, what I would then do is take the brown again and thin it quite considerably. Um, and then go down the, the lines so can you see the line there I would go follow that and then with a brand new fresh paint uh, of the leather just do a little bit like that and again just picking up the the edge detail and give it a bit of a highlight and you'll get a good uh, contrast it should work for you Right, still waiting for some of this to dry. So, paperwork and bookkeeping, cool. Uh, I highlighted back up with the brown again. Yeah, catch it tomorrow night, mate. Um, I'll be up for some World of Tanks if you're about. I've got some. I've got a really good way to get you going through the. Uh... Yeah, washes and stuff like that work for anything. You'll just be able to do the the highlights and stuff a lot easier than I can on a, a twenty eight mil. Um, so I've kept. Oh, nice. I've painting that one. So, uh, we took on board what people were asking for. Um, and I've got a young copper dragon. So, I'm going to probably paint him in and over the next couple of streams, sort of thing. Dragon! Only one thing worse than Americans, and an American dragon. Was that the phrase? Something like that. Um, I really want to watch that film now. Martin! Not Martin. Martin's other Martin. No, RE Project in a minute. So this is the monthly stream giveaway. So the top five people in the stream 
donations will get this as a raffle prize. Well, the one of the five will get it as a raffle prize. Um, and it'll all be painted up over the next couple of weeks on the stream. So that is... Yes, I'm going to do it copper. You do think I would abuse a poor dragon and change its colour from... <whistles> anyway. Um, so, and let's get to the... And a gun. <laughs> uh, let's see if we can get this working again. Overlay image. So... Oh, and Ash has just disappeared. That's not that one. Yay! So, a bit of show and tell time as usual. At about 8 o'clock on the Thursday, we get to show people what other people have been doing. <laughs> Sorry, the Wally, yeah. So, th <sighs> there is uh, a running joke with us over on Doom Fairy's channel about the oh what's it called what's what's the dragon oh poop I can't remember the name of the what's the dragon film where's Martin when you need him that sounded really bad Needing Martin's a uh, rain of fire. That's yes, that's the one. Not Dragonheart, nearly. So rain of rain of fire. One of the comments is uh, there's only one thing worse than a dragon, and that's an American. Um, <laughs> so me and Martin keep quoting it to each other because it's a class film. Anyway, this is Ashes needs more plasma. Um, they are dark angels, but I keep telling them that they are more like uh, Death Guard, which I think they are Death Guard. Uh, these are Team Pink from Von Voldemort. Um, I can show you them in a minute because I think they'll be behind me. They are. Um, these are some clone troopers he's been doing for me. So there's some clone troopers coming through. Um, and one of our new members, Cornwolf. And we have Spidey from Marvel Crisis Protocol with the can on the floor. Please do it a beer can. All the beer can. The bricks do look class. Uh, so when I get to mine... Um, yeah. yeah, no worries. Um, yeah, that's cracking. <laughs> Rocket Raccoon. Yeah. You've even done his eyes. I don't I hate eyes. And that base is class. There's definitely a Groot under there somewhere. <laughs> That's fantastic. Uh and we have Black Panther. You have, I'll show you in a second, but we are quite, uh, we do a lot of, well, we get halfway through a lot of uh, Marvel Crisis stuff on here as well. And you can just to say pick up the colour change in him. I know painting with colour change is really hard because as soon as you apply a wash to it, it tends to. Uh, to kill it up and God of Thunder it's a nice blue as well and Hulk smash so question is why isn't Hulk in Tesseract <sighs> such a wasted opportunity Yeah, I did. Um, I washed the colour change, and it went horrific. It went, it went brown. It was just horrible. Um, and a Dooku. Oh. 
Uh, yeah, as I say, I try all sorts. If I can't remember the exact date, but we have painting sessions where we just try different colours over stuff. That's why we've got. Um, I'll show you in a second a couple of experiment characters. Um, so <clears throat> this is Kinga, and this is why I am like I am because Kinga forced me between Kinga and uh, Ash. They forced me into um, being all painty in the green stuff and horrible and stuff like that. I've only been painting since Legion released. Cool. We <laughs> that was a interest. We had an interesting uh, Christmas. Um, there was four of us, and we painted FFG's demo table stuff up which was absolutely hectic uh, we did far four sets of legion in four sets in three days they're on our web page as my title if I remember rightly um, and we got Disney approval off the back of it which was absolutely fantastic not many in the UK have a, a Disney that's the new um, GW Age of Sigma uh, Giant uh, and then Egan's been doing some bits and pieces there is his laser turrets from the trench run for X-Wing scale I love the printers so much and then there's a squig with Tesseract look at the Tesseract in the background say tesseract is spreading and squig from a different angle he's eating a mouthful of flower fry a flower a fireflies um, yeah forbidden island pawns And that we've done this as a comparison because we know how much the cameras are flaring. So we were comparing sizes there, but that's, that's a totally different story. Um, but then this is the pictures of the squig. This is more what it was like before we started today. Um, again, it is muted down a little bit more now because of the, uh, um, the dry brushes and those the bits and pieces that we've put on him and he's now got teeth very very manky dirty teeth um, and that's the compressor away again and that's the other side and then Egan's been printing some spilled coffee that is absolutely class but you can't print the steam to come off it as well. Uh, King of Squig Army. Well, let's call it a squig detachment because I've seen a lot more of King of Squiggy bits. That sounds even worse. And we're up to cotton. So, fire away cotton. Is that, that's a chaos... Chaos Predator. Looks class. So that's the Tesseract under UV with the lights out. That's a drop in the ocean. Yes, it is a drop in the ocean. I know that. Kinga, that's Tesseract Glow under UV. <laughs> <laughs> we already have it. We have it all over the place. <laughs> Am I going to have to go and turn lights off? Do you think that'll work? Let's have a look. I'll come back to that in a second. Um... Shh. 
we've been tr before you turned up we were trying to I've still got too much light kicking about I think oh he's lighting the whole place up Wow um. Yeah, the ca it is the camera's trying to uh but it is it's so if you look at the base, the base isn't lit up, but he definitely is. Right, Dan, I, I'll show you this. Well, let me get some lights on so I can actually see without falling over. I'll go to the big screen for this, for the big Dan reveal. Uh, chatting so squig oh sorry um, I'll just move that to one side for a second are you ready for this Dan squig <laughs> squig Got a new mouth. <laughs> Stealth squig. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. I've got pussy boiled on that. Yeah. So, yeah, we have a green screen set up. So, behind us, you can't uh, um, see much. Uh, so, back to. These ones. Uh, this is the back of the Predator. It does look class under there. And obviously I st I have all the monitors hitting it as well. So there was still light co coming in. Um, but yes, Tesseract does react under UV. Quite a lot. And I think we have more Tesseract flames. Is that black crackle paste, Con? Tesseract. Um, Julian's already done Tesseract uh, clones. We did Tesseract droids. If you go and look on our webpage, we did the BX droids in Tesseract um, because of Kinger and other people in here causing problems. I. It's modern. Uh, ah. Yeah, I like that idea. Have you got a picture of the crackle not under UV sort of thing? So you, what does it look like with just the green and the uh, the colour behind it? And then Speed Freaks. Do like me some good Speed, speed, speed Freaks cars. Cool. Yeah, for on for only paintings in, in such a short time, you're picking up all the basics pretty pretty well. They are cool. One second. We. Oh, it might take a second to come through. Yeah, we went. I've got 
um, my some of my very early minis here. I'll show you in a second. But the speed freaks are cool. One of our one of the lads that we work with, uh, Rasta, he painted GW speed freaks back in the nineties. All of their speed freaks in the massive speed freaks army in one of the white dwarves. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, if you can find it, have a look for George Delapinas. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, yeah, look for George Delapinas Speed Freaks. And there's more, more Tesseract Glow Squigs. We're going to have the Tesseract Glow Mountain of Armies. There we go. That's nice. That the black and the green is fantastic. That is cool. If you are wanting to remove the shine, um, I don't know if anyone's ever set, uh, ever advised you on anything for. Um, Doing, getting rid of the shine. I don't know if you want the shine or not. It just like just popped into my head that uh, you might not know. Um, that, that base is fantastic. The paint job's really good as well, mate. That is pretty good. I do like the Tesseract. Yeah. Washed with Bale Tan. Yeah. A um, couple of pieces of advice. If you want, not saying that there's anything wrong with that but things that you could do if you wanted to make things brighter or duller and stuff like that if you were to do the the flames over a, a bright or white um you would get a, the high points would come out bright and then you could wash the recesses that's one way, way to like exaggerate the flames so they look more flamey type thing um but also, if you are, I'll just move that to one side. No, that's the wrong one. I moved, didn't move, I moved it on the wrong screen. Uh, if you want to get rid of the shine, then I would recommend trying to get hold of that Tester's Dull Coat. Um, yes, shenanigans. That's what you must do. Snowy will lose the plot if you do that. It would be amazing. Um, this stuff gets rid of all of the shine. And what you can then do is go back in and use Ard Coat or GW Gloss to add bits of shine to where you want it. Um, just just in, in case you wanted to do bits and pieces like that. <laughs> uh, let's get, that was that one. And then we have K, another one of K's salamanders you're getting the flames done quite nicely at the bottom there mate um <laughs> it's army painter i'm sponsored by army painter and i do tend to be a bit flaky about using theirs um The only one that I've had, uh, Army Painter and GW tend to be more of a semi-matte, satin matte type thing. Um, if you want proper, proper matte, um, then Tester's Dull Coat. It's expensive, but it's worth every penny. We don't sell it, if, if, if you were about to ask, uh, but it is, um, yeah. I've used over 200 cans of that. I just turn around to use it. Half the time I forget to shake it. I haven't had an issue ever with this stuff. So, um, yeah, I just prefer that stuff over. Uh, for scenery and stuff like that, yeah. Uh, I tend to use car uh, map varnish for scenery but if i was going to use the army painter put it in some warm water for about half an hour just to warm it up and give it a good shake just to make sure sometimes you just don't know how long it's sat on the shelf for 
uh, and the matting agent can stick to the, the bottom. Try it. <coughs> Excuse me. Try it on a piece of cardboard first. Let it go dry. See if it's matte. See if it's gone or see if it's shiny. And just practice. Try it. Um, that sort of thing. So yeah, that's K. Another one of K's lovely salamanders with a salamander shoulder pad. Helmets. What? And. This, this is the whole idea of the, the stream con. Um, so, like I've just shown about doing the leather there. The, this is... Oh, let's go back to... The painting camp. So, people will ask me in the stream, oh, what do you think about like the leather? How, how would you do the leather stuff? So, this is my poor... Um, little e-web my e-web has had more colors thrown over it than uh, there was practice with tesseract over different colors that was glistening mud from army painter there was various reds there was various whites there was um, the the mirrorist mirror going um, but we, we tend to just throw oops, throw stuff down, try it, give it a go, have a play around with it, see what it comes out like. Um, I haven't got any of my other test subjects about at the moment. Um, but going off what you were on about... Uh, chatting, 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 close up. Um, I have two models here. <coughs> now, the, this was painted... 20 years ago when I first moved to this house um, I, at that time I'd been painting probably about 5 or 10 years on and off a lot um, and that was obviously I didn't know anywhere near what I know now um, a couple of people have said go back and paint one of these again see what it comes out like see if it's any better or any worse but these were my black templars that i painted uh it's a dark i know it's a dark angel body but i just wanted a mysterious black templar and they were basically there you go i've done the uh leather underneath leather belt all the way around things i would change probably quite a lot um, let's say one of these days I might actually rebuild one of those figures and try it again. Uh, quickly pop back to the pictures. Uh, I didn't put the garage on. Where's the garage gone? There we go. So that is Cotton's third mini. Yeah, it's the more, and I tell this to, um, there's a couple of lads that I've helped along painting in the stream, uh, from the basics right up to um, Mr. Jack Wumper, who's now absolutely amazing at painting uh, within a year. His stuff's absolutely phenomenal. Uh, let's see if I can find it. So it was, it was this time last year, Jack was coming to me saying, how do I put paint on a miniature? Um, and that's what he produced this week. Um, believe it or not. Where's that? That started out like that. That is one of them. That's very bright. Yeah, Jack's picked this painting thing up like a like a duck to water. Um, oh. 
So he, he's just bought gem paint to do. Oh, he's just working on the gems tonight, I believe. Uh, and I can't wait to see them when they're finished. Might even ask him how he did it so I can show you his lot and copy off him. Uh, so there's there's three of them. This is the these are the center blocks in Super Fantasy Brawl. The the uh, pillars in the center of the table. Yeah, well, if you were any closer, Kate, okay, I would knock that out of you, Scottish or not. Um, yeah. So we show people all sorts on the stream. Um, we've gone down the route of basing, airbrush work, washes, um, building and cleaning miniatures. I say we do a lot of. Um, this is a this is a gift for Foxy, and I do need to pull my finger out and get some of his work done for him because he's got quite a pile of stuff building up over that. Um, so I've got two Spider Men for him. Um, I've even got, so I've got my car, uh, not Carver's Glove, Ebony Moore. <laughs> um, again, these are bits and pieces that I'm working on. I do, I get to the point where I've got so much on my table i wish i could just show you this table at the moment it is yeah so on my table i've obviously got squig um no i haven't done ghost rider yet i do have i've built one for someone but i still need to do it uh that is my count dooku that i did in blue uh royal blue clothes um that's about as far as i got with my stealth ATRT Walker. I have got a green gobble that is airbrushed and done to that point. Um, I've got a Monster Apocalypse Dice Saloon that's half painted, ready to be finished. I've got a Monster Apocalypse um, Dajan who is nearly finished. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I, I've got a bike that, yeah, I'm not showing too closely. Uh, I've got a Tesseract TIE Bomber. I've got six of those guys that I started and never got done. Uh, and now we've started to use them as test models. Uh, that was the stream uh, the charity stream paint job I should do something with that that was the one that I've just done and just finished the x-wing shape <sighs> bot wars I've just finished him tonight he still needs a bit of gloss on some of the windows what time is it I can finish that off um, more Bot Wars stuff. I've got Ravenous with Tesseract Glow. Um, I've got the Lamborghini. I could probably paint for a, a year solid and not break through everything that I've got around me to do. If you wanted that, um, if I was doing black leather, I'd probably dry brush. I did. I haven't got anything that I could show. Uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, close up. So that is, and it's not showing up very well, but you can see all the lines in it. Yeah. Uh, are you wanting... I would be tempted to... Paint it black and then dry brush with dryad bark. Dryad bark. Um, 
So it's a very dark. So spray black, dry brush with that, and then run the wash into it. Um, if you got, if you do a grey, you're going to keep the grey tint, so you won't get rid of the grey very easily. If I remember rightly, that's dried bark with a wash. Um, but I would, if you're doing the black, I would dry brush the brown across it. You get, um, what well, I did a Chaplin, a Primaris Chaplin. And when I did his cloak, I wanted it like an oil skin, like a leathery oil skin. And I just uh, started it with black. Um, and then these are the dry, we obviously we sell these dry brushes because they're our um, dry brush. They're a very soft dry brush and you put very, very little on it and just keep working it in backwards and forwards across the ridges and just build it up and build it up and build it up and you get to the point where you get a really good oil skin look. Um, right, that's that. Did I put the... I did put the gloss varnish away. Uh, series Ds are a little too rough. Um, it's hard to explain. These are baby soft. So I, I, I use Series Ds, but I've moved over to um, the Army Painter. They're basically the same stuff. Um, so these are really, really, really soft compared. These are goat's hair, so they're, qu they're qu still quite bristly. Um, if Snowy was here, he would be telling you how good these... Ash would probably also be telling you. Both of them didn't realise how good um, the dry brushes are. I have flat-edged ones. Uh, and I have the rounded edge ones. I don't know how many we've got left of each. But we still have a couple, I'm sure. Until we get a restock at the moment. Uh, but the rate they work for some reason. They're just soft. If you... You make sure you work it out as much as you can and then just very lightly build it up. Um, do, 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 do. What was I going to do? I need to do the gloss on that. So, gloss. Yeah, it's not a problem. That's, as I said, it's exactly why I'm here. Um, there's other people in the stream. I was just put a picture up. Oh, no. I just jumped miles up there. <laughs> so, one last picture for the night from King. Uh, discard. So the Squig Army is on its way. They are cool. <laughs> Thank you very much, King. And let's get my. So yeah, we can go through all sorts brush types. Um, if you need to know about brush types, if you need to know about what paints for what, uh, what bits and pieces work well with other stuff, just again ask. If I can't answer, there's definitely other people here who can as well. As I keep telling people, like uh, Doom Fairies and the Big Bearded Beast and Tom o, it's not about being artistic, it's not about being a good painter as such, it's knowing the techniques, knowing the cheats. Half the stuff that we do is a cheat to get an effect, uh, like we're doing glass here. Painting the glass with a gloss after you've varnished it gives the effect of glass. Um, you'll see people doing layers and different things like um, ref like refract refraction and stuff like that on 
um, the glass colour itself but if you just want it quick and done filling the window with a bit of gloss varnish after you varnish the whole thing because if you gloss varnish it and then normal varnish you coat it you then get your glass effect so there you go so I'm actually going to call him done um, is Uh, yeah there's different ways to paint um, you can paint by going base coat layer 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 and then you get your natural recesses and stuff like that from the layers or you can wash and dry brush or you can wash and dry brush and then glaze there's loads of ways and it depends how you want to do it yourself as well quick and easy is wash dry brush or dry brush wash um, yeah there's cheats for all sorts um, like this uh, oh, keep going for that button close up so the fur is a frost gorilla yeah so the two big things on here is obviously the fur and the fur was really quick and then the ice axe so both were again cheats so what this was was it was, the whole model was sprayed white and then I used a glaze a watered down glaze which make basically made it into a, a clear wash so just like your army painter colour um, your quick shades it filled all the gaps and then I dry brushed white across the top of it to get the white back to that so it, it took away the stain um, if you had to go and do every line you'd be there for hours right a wash has flow improver in it which is a liquid that um, basically the the easy term for flow improver it, it breaks the surface tension a bit like washing up liquid and then what happens is it basically falls off all the high ridges and goes into all the gaps a glaze if and it's it's the same basic it's paint that's thinned very 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 to a point where it's clear transparent yeah shades inks um wash they're all they're all the same thing and a glaze is a wash glaze a wash or a ink without the flow improver so when you put the blue on it stains everything it's not jumping into the um, recesses it's it does a little bit but it still also stains the um, the higher parts of it chestnut ink oh wow uh, so with a glaze what you can do and don't have one is things like lightsaber glow um, if he was holding a lightsaber there uh, it's got the same thinning agent in which I think this shows it really well yeah so it's they've got the thinner in but then it's got a flow improver so that allows it to flow it also helps through airbrushes as well um, but it just allows it to go into the crevices where the glaze will sit on the top so a good thing with a glaze you can do is if he's got a lightsaber there you can run glazes all around this area here and build it up very gradually into very very thin paint it, when I do um, Vader and when I've done glazes with Vader to put his red saber in it's been 10 15 coats to get the red to where it looks as though it's glowing 
to get it to a solid co color like a, a normal red you could be talking 50 to 100 coats before it goes solid it is just really thinned out paint um, and you can make glazes yourself as well right primers are I tend to use either airbrush medium or lamium medium or the quick shade these lamium medium and the quick shade medium are basically the paint without the coloring so if you then take a little bit of paint and add it a little bit at a time you can get it to the level that you want it so primer uh, primer will come in rattle cans like that or it will come in an airbrush form like we use um, if you run through various different companies various different makes they all react differently but it has to be a primer army painter do color matched so if i go and get um i think there is a leather brown so if i went and got leather brown spray there it actually says there uh, it 100 percent matches to the primer so that's a rattle can primer uh, and they have i think it's about 10 or 15 rattle cans that match perfectly uh good for quick banging out um uh, mass armies and stuff like that uh badger primer is fantastic uh and in the uk we get it for i get it for um my airbrushes Steinel res Steinel red yeah Steinel res so i've got about four different colors of that including black uh it is my go-to primer but I will still use GW's Chaos Black if I'm doing a lot of stuff outside. Quick go with a rattle can. It's just as quick as the, um, just as quick as an airbrush. You've got to make sure it's a plastic primer and matte because sometimes you can get a, cl a gloss primer that you won't get paint to stick for to. And it, as I say, it needs to be acrylic and it needs to be plas plastic acrylic matte primer. Um, you, some people use um, Halfords, some people use Pound Shop stuff. If you've just spent £70 on a resin figure like that, putting Pound Shop primer onto it and, and chancing it, ruining it, I'd prefer to go down the route of spending the extra tenner buying GW Rattle Cam Primer and putting that on it. Um, we I don't know where he's gone. We did a test. Uh, I think we were doing pitch. We were doing um, how to paint videos for doing stormtroopers and scout troopers and i'd got a um a way down where it was just basically spread white a very thinned wash with a th very thinned um null noil wash so it was like two parts lamium medium to one part null noil put that on it went into the recesses perfectly but we we tried back then <laughs> in motion wash done yeah um we tried back then going with gloss colors um painting it white glossing it then doing the wash then matting it and i got some pound shop gloss primer it for doing like washing machines and stuff like that and i tried that it clouded a lot of the detail <clears throat> because of it being gloss it didn't fit the same way that um the mat does for some reason so you got like a <coughs> quite a big coating over it which was a bit mm, 
Uh, but again, it was just stuff that we were testing. I'm trying to see what other stuff we tested. Oh yeah, scenery pieces. Uh, things like the, uh, the the gates for that game, Elder Scrolls, and that was a br we were trying to get. We only had coppers and silvers, so I didn't have a brass. So we made our own brass. Yeah, um, I've got another piece of advice for you. Don't go anywhere near Dettol. Um, the basic compound that strips paint off Dettol is isopropyl alcohol. So I know it's not easy to get at the moment, but if you put your miniature into IPA and clean it like that, you're getting a higher concentration of the um, paint removing part of the uh, Dettol or um, while we're stuck in everyone wanting IPA to make hand sanitizer and stuff like that um, go for methylated spirits the pink uh, the purpley meths stuff put it in there put it in an ultrasonic done bang yeah yeah I've tried that. I know. I understand. I've tried Dettol. I've bought people's collections off them when they've had Dettol figures in it. Um, it's not a. It's not a pretty sight half the time. But yeah, um, IPA or meths, methylated spirits. At least it's meths. Yeah, buy the meths. So I'm quite happy that I've got two fully finished tonight. I'm not going to get to show you the... Uh... So anyone that was watching earlier when I said... So this is the uh, Vallejo's Earth Texture that we sell. We sell this. It's good. Um, so that's it. This is how versatile it is. I can now take that and dry brush it with something like Terminatus Stone or something like that. Dry brush over and you've got sand... Or, if I put an Agrax Earthshade over it, like that one, I've got mud. So it's like two or three. If you put the green wash over it, you get like a a jungle effect. So again, good product. So versatile. Uh, yeah, again, do you know all that, all that had in it was IPA, Matt? Most of the things that pull um, pull the paint off is IPA based. So if you can find it, pure IPA. Um, we wash our resin when we do our resin prints. We wash all of our resin in IPA. Oh, look, you can't beat IPA. IPA is fantastic. It's all of the nice smells. Uh, I don't know if that's... I think that's dried enough. Can you see inside his mouth? Uh, close up. So we've got the skulls all in the mush of his mouth. Not that IPA. Well, you can try it. It's got alcohol in it, so it might actually do something. So, I'm going to take one of those little dry brushes that I've been talking about so much. And so. Uh, I will get that camera sorted. Uh, the stream deck sorted for next week I promise I'm sorry I keep going to press it and it's not there oh well that's interesting tyrant skull paint bin uh, I must have a new one somewhere Hey, Tyrant Skull, proper. It has got... Um, 
Um, but I'll get out of it what I need. So what I'm going to do is just on the outer bits of the teeth is just dry brush, especially the tips of the t like the right on the tips of the teeth, because then that gives a bit of a and that's just uh, GW Terminatus. Uh, is it Terminatus stone? Tyrant skull. Um, I get them from Mimet. We sell them on the shop. Uh, we also don't use ball bearings. We use glass beads for ours. It's a, something like something daft, like a couple of quid for fifty. Not that I'm shamelessly promoting my own shop or my own stream or anything. Yeah, they're on there somewhere. It's what we try to do. Anything that I use or I find really good, I try to sell as well. The number of times people have gone, oh, where do you get that from? And I was like, such and such, such and such. They've got none in stock. And I'm like, oh. Whereas things like um, the earth texture, I can control that. I can get hold of that when people need it. Um, And it just means it, it's their sort of thing. Did I just get Tesseract on that? So there you go. That is it as well, 50 pack. Um, I would show you some, but I haven't got any left around here. I think I've used them all. But they are, they're, they're uh, I can let, let you listen to some. There you go. I think I've got three in the Tesseract because of it solidifying so quickly. <laughs> yeah. Um, what was the... What was I going to do? Definitely cleaned that. Yeah, it's, a lot of the contrasts, um, I've started using them as well. Because it, it, you can see it there, it's solidified into two different colours. It just means you have to use it a lot quicker. get to do some tesseract statues as well <laughs> yes it does I've already had that uh, what did I do with the yellow what was the yellow one I did find another great I found that green a while ago and I've been looking for things to use on it uh, it's Vallejo pre premium airbrush stuff and it's it is actually Probably just as bright. It's just not glowing as much, but yeah, it is a bright, um, a bright colour. One of my favourite colour. It's a greener green. Heretical copy, yeah. It's heresy. One of my favourite colours coming from. Uh, the RC world, uh, when I used to paint RC car body shells and, uh, and trucks and stuff like that, is this range. Uh, it's a company called Cratex, and they, this is their new Wicked Colors range. Um, they're all uh, fluorescent magenta, fluorescent purple, and fluorescent blue. And they are all absolute fantastic colors. Uh, I think some of you will have seen the, uh, what's it called, 
I did a droid tank in them, and I did a droid tank. Um, not a droid. I did a Eldar flyer in them, and they came out beautifully. It's basically a transitional thing, so you go from the purple to the pink to the blue, or is it the blue? Yeah, uh, blue, purple, pink, or was it? It works either way. I think that would look quite nice as well looking at that so just fading it with the airbrush yeah uh, I'm waiting for my contrasts from them um, I back the skill 75 Kickstarter uh, we're waiting we're literally just waiting for them to deliver the, they've started deliver some people have them already so I'm really looking forward to getting them out and trying them see what they like we, the thing is, we do so many paints. Um, I've got the Vallejo Air range. Um, I've got the model color range because um, I like the tank stuff. Um, Mig acrylic colors. <laughs> you, you name it, we've probably got some of it somewhere. Um, probably the two most expensive colors in the world at the moment side by side yes they're doing a contrast paint um i've heard mixed reports of it so far so don't rush out and get it i'll have a quick test of them uh if you keep watching when we get it um for the contract for normal paint uh, for washes and stuff like that it only need you only need it in stuff that you've got thinned so contrast paints and washes in washes i normally only put one uh this tesseract i've put three in just to make sure um because it was uh yeah the good thing is though if you then go into another tesseract pot you just pour those beads back in um so yeah tesseract can go in so yeah this is the mirror stuff that we've been talking about um it is it is a very small pot it's 15 milliliters but let's go to the close-up i know some people have seen this before but this is yeah that is liquid metal rolling out of the it does smell good that's why i keep opening it and showing people really um that was what we used on there and that is, it's just absolutely phenomenal as a silver it's one of my favorites um we did a dry on um, when we did the charity stream I did a droid, I painted it in that first, and then I oversprayed it with um, Angron Red, the Forge World Angron Red. Now, these are both like 40, 50 pound pots of paint at the moment. Uh, Angron Red has been out of print for some time. Um, but that is just come into print, and it's still expensive. But yeah, that would. Uh, I've got Black 3. It was a very, very expensive model. Uh, where is it? Come on, King. You did, you did say name a paint. Black 3.0. Um, that... I started down the Stuart Semple route to see what his stuff was like. Um, it's not great as a... It's, it's not great as a miniature paint. Yes. No, it's... Um, it is now the blackest black, yes. He's the one that's having the argument with the other artist. And then started basically producing everything that was... The mirrorist mirror, 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 yeah. 
the mirrorist mirror paint mirrorist mirror paint blackest black paint um if i can remember where it all is i've got the pinkest pink i've got uh vantra was the bloke he's having the argument with yeah um it, it's it's quite an interesting one to follow once you get into it but he does fluorescence um i've got all sorts of his stuff kicking about i'm just trying to think of other companies paints that we did um these are what i need to check up on these as well so these are chimera colors and that was one again we tested on this and now the chimera colors white and it's called the white coated straight over black in one oh Should really shake that up first uh i haven't got any black black 2.0 painted on anything but um i'm not kidding straight over black thought someone was coming to bring me food then so yeah it caught straight over yeah it's going to be a quite a bit of expensive plastic um these are these are not too bad the chimera colors you've just got to catch them when they've got them in stock uh it's a range of 15 and apparently from that 15 you can produce any color you want just by mixing it on a palette and i've got one two three four five six seven of the 15 at the moment uh, I have tried to pick up some other bits and pieces. Uh, other stuff that we've tried, we, as I say, we try all sorts. Um, we've got Liquitex acrylic black ink painting in inks through the airbrush. Uh, this acrylic ink through the airbrush again works really well for zenithal highlights. Uh, it's one of my favourite zenithal highlight highlight ways of doing stuff. Um, We've got Stuart Moss, Stuart Semple White as well. Premium Vallejo, Cratex. My, the whole GW range is up on the wall there. We, do, we did Tesseract via the airbrush on... What did we do it on? It wasn't the Decimator. There was something where we I couldn't get in with the with the brush, so I just put it through the. T uh. Oh yes, you thank you. It was him, where we couldn't get the the glow into the mouth. I airbrushed through his teeth. Yes, thank you. That's what it was. So ravenous got uh, tesseract glow through his teeth. <laughs> Um, that was Tesseract Glow Over Black, by the way. Straight over black. So it went like um, like a moss. That was it over silver. It muted the metallic massively. Which was a, a shock. Um, but I would like to do it over some gold bits and pieces and stuff like that. Just try stuff, I think. Um, I might do a one of the ones where we just go yeah you know what we'll have a bit of a play around see what we can do see where we go and see what happens um maybe he's a, a magic colored dragon uh, oh yeah pro krill another great range uh, i haven't got all of their range yet but i got all of the clears and the clears worked up and we found the cabri's purple we made cabri's purple the metallic Cabri's purple, which was Vallejo metal line. Uh, so another one of my favourite colours, the Vallejo metal. Put that down. Oh no, it wasn't. It was gold. Sorry, it was Citadel Retributor armour. <laughs> um, and then the Retributor armour with the purple over it. Uh, the clear purple by Pro Krill went into 
Cadbury's metallic purple. It was mind blowing. Absolutely amazing. All the amazing. So, I think we're about. Oh, uh, hi, Archnen. We were just about to close up. Um, and so I'll quickly show you what we've got done today. Oh, Arch I can't get hold of it in the UK. It's a pain in the butt. Uh, as I say, our local supplier fell out with them. Creature Caster fell out with them by the looks and sounds of it. Uh, so I've done my Devastator. He's ready to rock and roll. When I find all the other bits to make him up. Uh, we got... That's actually quite... I do like the colours. It isn't a colour shift colour, but we've managed to... Sorry, did I say... Destroyer. Catch you later, Egan. Yeah, I need to do the black bit on there, and then that's done. And we got... Um, we've got him quite a bit further on. His teeth are done. Um, I need to do the mushroom on the side. I need to do the metal work. And I would have got the base done tonight, except it's still a bit wet. I'll probably finish this up off stream and we'll pick, we'll start something new. Because if I can finish that, the bench is semi clear. Yeah, that, the lats come out really well. It was just, that, again, that was Pro Krill purple, wasn't it? So the Pro Krill purple over silver. Um. It just looks it looks like petrol on water from here the purpley petrol and blue colors was I mixing the purple I think I was mixing the purple and blue I'd have to go back and read it and then the stars in the cockpit and all that so I was quite happy with that that will get thrown up on eBay probably tomorrow cool mate um, if people do have time, I would appreciate anyone going over to uh, YouTube and dropping us likes on the videos, um, following us and all that sort of stuff over there. It really does help uh, boost the numbers. Um, so, I'm going to call that for tonight. Uh, as I said, we've got very close to getting everything finished and we've shown a couple of people tonight um, bits and pieces of... Um, beginner stuff which I'm, I, I really enjoy helping people out That's, as I said that's one of the reasons of having the stream set up so new people coming along can learn bits and pieces and don't be afraid to ask questions it, it helps me fill the two hours up as well so as usual thank you everyone who's liked, followed, subscribed donated uh, we'll be back next Wednesday if I don't have anything lined up uh, over the weekend there was the, no there wasn't anything else so yes have a great evening everyone same to you Arten <laughs> have a great evening everyone and as usual stay safe catch us all soon Artsy oh Artsy sorry I've not gone Artsy so I've already talked to people about it King of but, before you disappear, um, <laughs> everyone else has already heard this, so don't, don't worry too much. So remember, I watched a video today, and the video was um, World War II tanks in sepia. And it showed you all of the old World War II tanks, the Tigers and stuff like that, in sepia and stuff like that. Um, I was considering doing World War Two in Tesseract, with your idea, of course. So, uh, and on that bombshell, I'll leave Kinga quaking in his boots. So again, thank you everyone. Stay safe. Catch you soon.